your characters are never going to be the same. This video is going to change how you do your character skin forever. And the craziest thing about all that is, all of that is only going to take me 4 minutes. So join me everyone, and let's all learn together the power of gnomes. The first thing we need to make sure you do is have the add-on Node Wrangler installed. So go up to your Edit, head to Preferences, and this is an add-on that comes with Blender, so all you need to do is search for Node Wrangler, and then make sure you hit the checkbox. After you have done that, head over to Shading. In Shading, Make sure that your character skin is selected and we are going to add several nodes. Now to add a node, all you need to do is do Shift A and then search for whatever you need. The first node we need is a Voronoi Texture. The next node we need is a Float Curve. After that, add a bump. And then add a mix RGB. If your base mesh is a make human mesh, disconnect the normal map for the base human mesh. Do not delete this, we will be using it later. So now, the order which we will be connecting all these nodes in is Voronoi Float Bump Mix. First, the color on the Voronoi goes to the value on the float curve. Then, the value on the float curve goes to the height on the bump. And then, the normal goes to color 1. And make sure on your Mix RGB you have Multiply selected. Connect your color to your normal. Now for your Voronoi texture, up the scale to about 4000. And then on your bump, decrease the distance to about 0.002. On your float curve, just angle it so it's not perfectly straight. Oh no guys, looks like we're having a technical glitch. Hmm, it's probably because me and Santa are the exact same. We're both powered by those who believe in us. And there's just not as many believers anymore. If you believe in me and Santa, hit subscribe! Also, there's four days left. <laughs> also, there's four days left for one lucky new subscriber to win the chance to choose whichever character they'd like to be the subject of the next tutorial video. So please support the channel and subscribe. Here's the rest of the video. Then, to add another layer of texturing to our character, we're going to grab the Voronoi Texture, Float Curve, and Bump, and hold Shift D to duplicate all of them. Then we are going to add this bump to the color 2. Now, if you are using the Make Human Normal Map, what you need to do is Shift D to your RGB, then select Add, place it in between, and then add your Make Human Normal Map into Color 2. 
This should fix any of the defects that occur when doing this method. Also, on your Voronoi texture, make sure Smooth F1 is selected. Now, on the second set of skin pores that we have duplicated, make sure that the scale is different than the top scale that you have done previously. I'm going to do 5000. Now, for the very last step, go to your layout and select your light sources. Make sure your light sources selected have contact shadows enabled. And now, your character has pores.